Ladies and gentlemen, we will stay in Glory's Light Heavyweight Division. This man's coming off a win over Philippe Verlinden at Glory 22 France and enters the ring on a three-fight win streak. Morad Bouzidi! The silent power, Morad Bouzidi. A record of 78 wins, 22 losses, two draws, and 34 knockouts. His glory record, five and four with two KOs. He is currently the number five ranked light heavyweight. And one of the nicest guys in the game, Frank Shamrock and I bumped into him on the, on the way to glory number two in the lobby of the hotel, and we interviewed him right then and there. Really charmed us to death. Very quick, constant pressure. Uses hand combinations to set up kicks extremely well. Powerful for his size. He used to fight all the Giants up at heavyweight, and he made the wise decision to drop back down to light heavyweight. Yeah, in his style, he calls kickboxing, but he mixes it up well. He throws big bombs, throws strong kicks, knows how to control the range and the distance, and he knows how to knock people out. And this is a rematch in their first fight. Speed was what it was all about. Daniel Olunga just edged out every round throughout Buzidi, and I'm sure Buzidi, he said to us that he's really been working on his speed himself, so I expect to really, really not want to blink my eyes on this one. Morad Bouzidi looking for revenge tonight here in Amsterdam. He was with us at Glory 25 Milan and will make his 10th Glory start. Here comes. Daniel Ilunga! Dibuba, the king, Daniel Ilunga. Always a flamboyant ring entrance as he wears the traditional warrior costume of his native Congo, now fighting via Germany. Enters this bout with a 57 and nine record, 44 victories by way of KO. A six and three record in glory with three knockouts. He is the number two ranked light heavyweight. And he was frustrated in his last fight against Artem Vahitov, but he assures us that Murad Bouzidi has definitely got the style that he used to, used to because Murad Bouzidi basically fights like a Dutch fighter. And uh, Daniel Ilunga trained with one of the greatest Dutch fighters, Remy Bonyaski. The flying Dutchman. And watch for Ilunga's flying knees. He also said, hey, you better watch out for my occasional flying kick as well. Yeah, one of the greatest technicians of light heavyweight kickboxing. There's Remy Bonyaski there, multiple K1 champion, won the Grand Prix there three times. One of the greatest heavyweights that there ever was. Remy Bonyaski sure knows something, a little bit something about a flying knee. Yeah. He has taught Daniel Alunga well. Let's check out the numbers for this light heavyweight matchup. Daniel Luga is three years younger, two inches taller, and has over four inches in reach over Murad Buzidi. But, dot, 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 Buzidi, who has 30 more fights, is coming off a win, and Luga coming off three losses. Ladies and gentlemen, two of Glory's top five light heavyweights square off and about scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, a WSCA world champion in two separate weight classes. His professional record, 78 wins, 22 losses, two bouts scored even, 34 big knockouts. At six feet, one inch tall, 1.86 meters, he weighed in at 208 and one half pounds, 94.7 kilos. He fights tonight out of Tunisia and ranked number five in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Morad, the silent power, 
His opponent standing in the left and fighting out of the white corner, a two-time World Muay Thai champion. His record, 57 wins with nine losses, 44 wins by knockout. At six feet three inches tall, 1.91 meters, he weighed in at fight time and an even 207 pounds, 94 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Germany by way of the Congo. Right number two in the world, he is Daniel Debuba Ilunga. And the third man inside the ropes, your referee, Stefano Valenti. Mouth. Mouth. Okay, listen to my command. No elbows, no toes, no sweep. Keep up your head. White, touch if you want. Corner. Mouth. Mouth. Strap Mouth. yourself in because here come the light heavyweights. Daniel Ilunga. He's in the white gloves Fight. and Morad Buzidi, he wears the black gloves. And this is going to be some fireworks, guys. We yeah. can tell already. Yeah, exactly. And both guys giving each other a lot of respect. Nobody bum rushing forward at the bell because they know this guy can throw counter punches. Hey. That is clinch and break up. You must attack immediately if you do clinch. If not, you will be broken up by the referee. Low kick there from Buzidi. No Follows up with a body shot. No hugging in glory. <laughs> no, there is no hugging in glory, correct. <laughs> Even during Christmas? <laughs> Apparently not. Buzidi gets a left straight through. Follows it up with a push kick. And knee from Ilunga. Hey. Well timed. Yeah, both these guys really relaxed. High level, the highest level really in the light heavyweight division, just below Gukan Saki and, of course, Salo Cavallari and Zach Moikaza. These guys are up there with the great ones in the division currently fighting. Zidi throws that kick and then slips to the canvas. No knockdown, of course. Low kick from Ilunga. One thing I noticed, as promised by Buzidi, really quick and really tight with his punch combinations. Nice left hook to the body from Buzidi while he's marching his way inside. That yeah. knocked Ilunga back. Yeah, Ilunga was waiting to counter, but he never got anything off because Buzidi wouldn't let him. Daniel Ilunga. No other way to say it, guys. He needs a victory tonight. Yeah, he really does. This was a guy who, yes, he's still number two in the light heavyweight division, but he's lost a couple, and he needs to prove that he is still knocking on the door of title contention. And he's got the card stacked against him. He took this on short notice because yep. Buzidi was supposed to be fighting Michael Duke. Yeah, all right. So this is a big, you know, bite to chew right here. Okay, fight! It really is because Buzidi, even though he's got a number of a number of losses, he's one of those kind of guys who can take the whole thing. This is a warning, okay? No more, don't push. Fight! Warning from our referee, Stefano Valente, to Murat Buzidi. No more pushing. He almost pushed the Lunga straight through the ropes. Buzidi's been knocked out before by Cavallari. So the Lunga catches him. But the thing is about Ilunga, he's more an accumulation guy where Kamalari is like this rock coming at you in one punch and just give you some serious damage. Nice exchange two and round number one. Nice respect. There's a cut on the nose of Morat Buzidi. We'll Buzidi. see some of the highlights. Yeah, he's lighting up with the hands. Beautiful left hook there, marching his way in and just shut down Ilungo's ability to counter. Beautiful sweeping right hand there. Yeah, Ilungo coming up short there, but, trying to come oh, roll. Right on the chin, that one socked him straight on. Yeah. 
Best shot of the fight, I think, right there. Hit him right on the button. I'm sure he's going to work on the low kicks. When that rock. man speaks, you to listen. Try to make sure, bro. Remy Bonyowski giving instruction to Daniel Ilunga. Second round. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ilunga was better than him. Bitch. 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 Stay there. Fight! Round number two of this light heavyweight super fight series. Ron Kruk and, Ken, and Frank Shamrock and Steven Quadros. We are ringside here in the Netherlands. Daniel Lunga and Morai Buzidi. Buzidi came out with a little more head movement, but it's instantly gone now that he's yeah, right. the bomb. Yeah. Isn't that funny how they'll, they'll be on the outside, no threat of getting punched, and they'll move their head, then as soon as they go on the inside, just start winging it. That must have been the corner adjustment. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Buzidi's corner went to work on his nose a little bit, but that cut is open as we check out the total strikes. Yeah, Buzidi eating him up 25 to 11 and total strikes. But let's look at the kicking. It's still Buzidi. Wow! That's almost three times, Frank. Yeah, it's about, it's about even on the percentage, but a way more in volume. Buzidi's bleeding. Morad Buzidi is cut wide open. The doctors will check this out and see if he can continue. The doctor doesn't look He doesn't look happy, happy and no. he's making the space in his hands. That means it's open that far. That is a big gash on the forehead of Morad Buzidi. Well, the problem with a cut like that, it's right above his eye. So every yep. time it bleeds a little, it's going to come right down into his eye and block his vision. We may have a very unpopular decision being med medically made here. Great shot there by our crew here in Amsterdam. Oof. How much Vaseline can you fill in that cut? All right, okay. I heard the doctor say it'll bleed a little bit, but there's no harm. Yeah. Yes, yes it will, <laughs> and this fight will continue. But Alunga's gonna wanna throw that straight right or that crooked right. So, left corner, left corner. Come here. Penalty, minus point, minus oh. point. B, come on. A point no, has point. been deducted from Morad Buzidi. Wow. It's not his round, is it? No, nah, it's just get, getting in a hole. Got a hole in his head and a hole in the scoring. Why Buzidi will need a miracle if he's going to win this fight. Bad cut as the blood continues to pour from his forehead. And he was deducted a point here in the second round. Good shot. No knockdown. Held on to the ropes. Fighters clinch and break up. That's the problem. Trying to keep you cool in the middle of all this adversity for Buzidi. Daniel taking advantage, leading with the right hand, digging with that left hook to the liver. Buzidi looks like he's desperately trying to close the range when he gets inside. Making those clinches. Come on, step back. No, Buzidi right now is mentally rattled. I'm not saying he's rattled physically, but Left hook from Ilunga. Whoa. And the fighters exchange. Whoa. Wow. Buzini came alive. Wow. He's throwing some bombs here. Buzini got that hook through and he follows up with an uppercut. The audience is yelling, Murad, Murad. Murad answers, following up as Eluga is stuck on the ropes. So, somehow Murad Buzidi survived that second round after a wicked cut open on his forehead, and then he was deducted a point too, guys. His corner has some work to do here before round three. 
That... Yeah, the cut came out of nowhere, but it looked like a looping elbow. There it was, yeah, it was a looping elbow from Malungo. It was a right hand. The elbow just happened to reach out there, bing, and yeah. make contact. When you hit bone to bone, it pops right open. Yeah, he sliced him open. This is where he got in trouble with the point deduction. Yeah, he's just trying to clear his head here, and he reached in for a grab and a hold, and you know there's no holding or hugging in glory. Uh, you know, I, that was kind of a little bit marginal. I, I don't think it was flagrant holding. I mean, we've seen worse, and he didn't do it a lot before, so I, I don't know. Alunga, nice punches up the center, hooking on the outside, and they're just going to town here. Fight! Desperation time for Morad Buzidi, round number three, as he faces Daniel Ilunga. Oh, and what a push kick from Ilunga. Smart move by Ilunga. Keep him at distance. Don't want to get him on the inside. That's when Buzidi can be dangerous. Yeah, Stephen, I think they took that point because he also hooked the glove a little bit and tried to hold him in. He did the old double whammy. Uh, with that said, guys, how do you have this fight scored? Well, with the point deduction, that makes that a 10-8 round because I had Ilunga winning the round before. Buzidi tried to rage back, but Buzidi lost a lot of his, I mean, he missed a lot of his punches in the second round when he got really emotional. I would say that Alunga's got this the first two rounds. Yeah, I think the same. I think Alunga's got it, and I think that Buzidi, like you said, he needs a miracle if he's going to pull this one off. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the judges gave the first round to Buzidi because he looked tight, but Alunga was firing back, too, in that first round. Second round wasn't close because of the cut. The knockdown, or I mean, sorry, the the point deduction, that stuff gets in your head. You get desperate and you start fighting like you didn't train to. Luka continues to throw that left hook, guys, and when he does, it almost seems like that elbow is getting through, and that's what opened Buzidi up earlier. Of course, elbows are not legal in glory. Now, that's what my boxing coach always taught me. You, throw, you throw a hook and then you leave with the elbow, just in case. Look at this. Ilunga stuck in the corner as Buzidi fires away. Yeah, and you got to give uh, Buz Buzidi's corner credit because that cut has not really been a factor. And the one thing we haven't seen from Alunga is any flying knees, any flying kicks at this point. Valente warned Buzidi again for holding. Alunga seizing the action, moving forward and landing. Yeah, Alunga's got a little bit more creativity in his strikes. He's faking kicks and following up with those hooking punches. Sharp hooks from Ilunga as we are under hooks. a minute to go oh, in the third and final round. Great action here in Amsterdam. As the blood continues to flow from the forehead of Morad Buzidi. Buzidi really huffing hard here. Under 30. Daniel Alunga looks to break that losing streak. Nice counter left hook from Alunga. He's breathing hard. Yeah, Alunga pretty much is dictating the action here as Buzidi fades. Oh, nice shot. And a desperation spinning back fist misses from Buzidi as the round comes to an end. tonight by Daniel Ilunga in front of his hometown fans. He knew that this would be a tough bout, guys, and, and he'd have his work cut out for him, but he was focused, a lot of pressure on him to break that losing streak. He really put on a solid performance against Morad Buzidi. Here are the stats for this light heavyweight matchup between Ilunga and Buzidi. 
Yeah, and it ended up pretty even keel, except for you look for the kicks of Alunga. He did great work on the body, keeping Buzidi away. And then when Buzidi got on the inside, he did let those hands go. But boy, it was punch for punch. These guys were really socking each other down. Buzidi threw more, but didn't land as many power shots as Ilunga dude did as we see the highlights of this fight. And Ilunga snuck in some body knees. He didn't get the flying knee, but that right hand touched Buzidi right on the button and might have changed this fight. Of course, that looping elbow popped open the head of Buzidi, but he would not go down. He would not back down. He may have gotten a little fatigued, but he was there to knock the head off of Ilunga. Just punch for punch, these guys go into town. Buziti was behind from the opening bell and just never was able to come back. Let's go back to the glory ring to make it official. Great crowd here on hand from the Rye Center in Amsterdam. And Frank, what a fight we saw between Buzidi and Ilunga. The judges are taking their time and adding up the scores as the fight, as all the fans here eagerly anticipating the final results. Yeah, they were loving that fight. Scorecards are in, so here's Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. They give us a split decision. Here are the totals. 29-27, Buzidi. 28-27, Ilunga. And 29-27 for your winner by split decision, Molan Buzidi. Morad Buzidi earns the split decision victory. I'm not sure if I agree with that one, Frank. Hey, he got a miracle. He needed it. He got it. Well, let's hear from the man. He's standing by with Stephen Quadros. Morad, you got the win, but it was a tough night at the office, wasn't it? Yeah. The, the, first of all, I want to thank Amsterdam for bringing us back home. It's great, it's an honor to fight at home again. Thank you very much. A lot of respect between you and Daniel. Daniel's a very good fighter. I think he uh, belongs to the top three fighters in the world. It was a tough fight also because I had a cut uh, on my head, the bleeding and everything, but we kept fighting and we got a fight, so. Big fight coming up in the light heavyweight division. Gokan Saki against Sawa Kabalari for the title. Would you like the winner? I would love to have the winner for the title shot. <laughs> bring me the title, I'll bring it back home in Amsterdam where it belongs. Okay, that's, that's your man. Murad, the silent power, Buzidi.